Hello friends, my name is Ishwar Dhyal Mathur and this is my first tutorial on Katia V5 software and in this software I am going to show you how the 2D, 3D modeling is carried out and also I will show you how the assembly drawing is done in this software and we will also some see some extra features of this Katia software so let us get started with this software so just i have already opened the software so go to start mechanical design design part design select any plane okay click first okay then define any plane go to sketch so this is the total in interface of Katia software okay so in Katia this is the total interface this is the title bar this is the menu bar and these are the what we can say toolbar and this is the toolbar areas so for making sketches in this software we have to use this toolbar and there are few toolbars which are necessary and which are frequently used for making sketches these toolbars are profile toolbar operation toolbar constraint visualization sketch and workbench toolbar okay so How to open this toolbar? Sorry, guys. And how to open this toolbar? This toolbar can be opened just right click on any toolbar and whatever tool you want to open, just right click on them. Sorry, click on that and it will be open. And if you want to hide any toolbar, just right click on that and hide that one. And if you want to again open any toolbar, just right click on that again. And as you can see that I have already had the operation toolbar. Now click on the operation and it will really come on the required position. Okay. So in Katia, there are the color code which signifies something. And this code R means greens means poly constraint, white means partially constraint, and pink means over constraint. So, in my later part of video, I will tell you uh, what are these constraints and why these are so much importance and why these are given so much importance in these softwares. Okay and basically constraints are used for shaping and positioning positioning the shape of an of an figures okay so we have now toolbars so always you should of this grid okay always you should also of the snap mode and if necessary if possible and when you have not required this construction mode you should also of this and this is the geometrical constraint actually these are not required right now so we have to make sketches in this two or three first tutorial videos and we required this to toolbar profile and operation that i will do deal, deal today and in my next video i will focus on this constant toolbar so we have option profile and profile is something like polyline just like in what we using in the catia it consisting of consisting of line and 
if you want to draw some arc you can also do it okay something like that if you want to again draw of half arc you can also do it and it will be continuous one okay then we have option like rectangle so these are the simple figure you can uh, do it these are very simpler one and one way you can also do it by editing this uh, the instruction which are coming over here suppose I have taken a rectangle and you can see it giving a message select or click the first point to create a rectangle suppose I have taken this as a first point now I am dragging a mouse and now it is taking a shape okay so, so if you are not uh, if, you, if I have not any idea about how to draw any profile then I will recommend recommend you to see this command prompt area read the instruction and you will be able to draw any difficult type of complicated profiles so okay this is the circle select the center point and you can draw the required circle this is a spline you can draw it now we will move to this toolbar this is your operation toolbar so for showing its importance or significance i have first i will draw two line intersecting line so <coughs> this is a corner uh, something like fillet option so in the first option we have this option trim all element that means it will be trim all the parts okay so as you can see this this intersecting lines whole are deleted then again click on this corner and we have some option and in sub option we have selected this second one trim first element like suppose i have clicked this one then it will be deleted this part okay okay now it deleted is first element that means it will be trim trim the first element then again no trim that means it will be not trim the intersecting parts let me draw once again actually it is highlighted second option that's why again it has trimmed that first part uh, first part so again clicked this no trim now it is highlighted now it will be not trim on the in intersected part now you can see it is not trim the intersected part so always see this red mark will be highlighted then go for that options since uh, in the previous option we have not seen that this one is checked or highlighted and we have moved to no trim options that why that's why that first part was deleted now we have to move this standard trim that means these two intersected line will be deleted for showing that I have to delete this that filleted part okay now we'll again click chamfer go to standard lines now it is highlighted so again click now you can see intersected lines are deleted now go to again chamfer this will be construction lines and it will be what will be that it is the construction line no trim it will be con uh, construction line that means it will be convert to this into fillet part filleted filleted part and construct this one as 
a construction element like I am going to show you as you can see this two part has created filleted create filleted and these are converted into construction line and we have one more option this is second last construction line trim that means this standard parts are deleted and construction lines are also created you can see let me zoom okay so as you can see the here the intersected lines are deleted and construction line also created so we have more options like scale and mirror so for drawing profile we have one more important feature so quickly i will tell you mirror option so for making mirror draw any sketch uh, i will i have taken a circle now taking for mirror go to option sorry i have taken this wrong option take to mirror select this figure now select the axis as you can see mirror is created so we are almost done the importance options whatever we which we are going to use in the uh, for making sketches and in my next video i will show you how to approach the sketch and how we will use these options and what is the importance of constant and how constants are used and what is the color code and what is the importance of that color code like green pink and white so if you really like this video then give us like and thank you for watching this video and subscribe my channel